Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to FIFA 17 and the Newcastle United career mode. Uh, we're starting off with a, a loan request from Paul Dummett. He's not playing much. He doesn't want to leave, but he'd like to go out on loan so he can get some games under his belt. I mean, that's fine because we've got Lazar and Hidara, uh, Hidara in front of him in the pecking order. So, I mean, 25, he's got a little bit of potential to be a squad player. So, why don't we send him out on loan? May as well. So, um, we'll do that. And our first game is against QPR. Um, so, that's a game we should really win. <laughs> How many times have I said that in this series? And it not worked out. Um, let's put him on for a, a short loan for the time being, because we're past halfway in the season. We don't want to loan him out for a whole season. We certainly don't want to loan him out for two seasons. So, we're going to jump into this first game at home to QPR. We are top of the league by five points. And we have a game in hand over Aston Villa. So, we want to keep that um, that lead at the top going, really. Okay, then. So, here's the team for today. Paul Dummett comes straight in because Lazar's out injured for a couple of days. And Haidara played the last match. He's a little bit tired. So, he might be getting out on loan, but Dummett's starting today. We've got Sells in goal. The rest of the defence is Clark and member Yedlin. Midfield is Aarons, Shelby, Sigurdsson, Ritchie, and Galen Mitro are the front two. Looking for Mitro to rediscover that goal-scoring touch that he had in the last episode. That was a bit absent, so hopefully he steps up to the mark again. Okay, St. James's Park. Of course, Newcastle. We managed to seal promotion in real life. Um, on Monday? Yeah, on Monday. <laughs> Forgotten the day. It's been around bank holiday, so I always forget. And Gale straight away is in. And it's a good save by Smithies. Yeah, Newcastle in real life managed to seal promotion finally. Should have had it done a little while ago, to be fair. But uh, we have to do it the hard way all the time, don't we, at Newcastle? It's an early corner. Shelby to take it. And there's a header! Oh, it's the side netting. I think it was in Bemba with the header. And there's confirmation that we are the best defensive team. Only 14 goals conceded all season. Aston Villa, the next best of 26. It's given away to Aaron, so. Sigurdsson. Matt Ritchie. Mitro, can he get a shot away? He can, and it's in! I wasn't expecting that to disappear into the back of the net. But Mitro, we said he needed to get back on that goal scoring run. And he's done just that 26 minutes in. A reasonably well worked goal, but I'm surprised by how easily Mitro managed to peel off his man there. And it's a really good finish from that angle. Smithies has made a couple of good saves early on. But the shot from Mitro was just too accurate. And we lead 1-0. Both a little bit tired after this busy fixture schedule we've had. So we're going to bring him off, give him a bit of a rest. That's a really good deep cross. And Sells makes his first save of the game. Keeping out a good shot from... I'm not sure who it was from QPR, but... Really dangerous cross. I think it might have been James Perch. And it's a great save by Sells. Get rid. Well done, Mbemba. Good header. Oh, come on. How has he gone through me to get the ball? Sells again with a save. It's ridiculous because Sigurdsson had the ball there and the guy's head had to go through his chest or something to get that. Great save. <laughs> Been relatively quiet all game QPR, but this last 10-15 minutes have really grown into this match. And there's the chance. Oh, and they've hit the post. Two saves in the post keeping us ahead here. We need to get back on top. Is this scripting starting to kick in? No, they won't. It's full time. We've weathered the scripting storm. And we take the three points. Only 1-0. Could have been a bit better. We dominated until probably 70-75 minutes. But three points is three points. And it helps us take another massive stride towards the Premier League. Okay, game number two. At home to Bristol City. Another game straight after the previous one. Uh, so some tired legs. We've made a couple of changes. We're going to have to sub some of them off. 
Got Cells in goal, Lazara, Lascelles and Bemby Yedlin. Midfield is Gufran, Shelby, Diame, Richie. And then Armstrong replaces Gayo up top alongside Alexander Mitrovic. He'll get a yellow card for that, I'm sure. But more immediate is this attack from Bristol City. And Yedlin doesn't stop him! Ooh, it is a yellow card, but what a shot that was. Almost went in the bottom corner. And we'll take another look at this challenge by Shelby, which was uh, very mistimed, shall we say. This man went flying. Like he's doing the high jump or something. Lascelles. Richie. Mitro scored from here in the last game. Good save. It scrambled. Oh, and it's hit the side netting. Adam Armstrong. Just slightly off balance. And that stopped him adding to his recent tally. So close to an opener. Shelby also pretty tired out there. And it shows there. Just outrun. And he, it's a brilliant cross. How have Bristol City not scored there? That was an unbelievable cross. Sells came for it. Didn't get there before the striker. And the shot hits the bar and bounces on the line and comes out. Now here's Armstrong. And Diame. And Lazar. And Mitro! Yes! His last touch before we withdraw him. And Alexander Mitrovic scores goal number 12 in the Premier League. Uh, well, the Championship even. <laughs> Getting a bit excited here. Just as Bristol City hit the bar. We break down the other end and Lazar picks out Mitro. He just cushions the finish into the bottom corner. And we needed that goal. Just as Shelby and Mitro are coming off. 12 goals in the championship for Mitro. And it's still only February. Yobi. Sammy Amiobi. Armstrong. Gufran. Saved. And Diame couldn't knock it in on the rebound. And there's the full-time whistle. It's another 1-0 win. We're not putting opponents to bed, but we're grinding out these results at the moment. And that's all I can really ask the team to do. Another three points. Uh, a little more risky in this one, though. Mitro again on the score sheet. And if he keeps getting these goals, it's going to be difficult to replace him next season. Okay, then, here we go. Away to Reading. We've had quite a few days of rest, so the team is back to full fitness. And it's a full strength side. We've got Sells in goal, Lazar, Clark, and Bemby Edlin. Aaron's, Shelby, Sigurdsson, Richie, and Gayla Mitro up at the front, too. Um, Isaac Hayden's out for three weeks of a sprayed ankle, which is what he picked up at the end of that last game shortly after coming on. Uh, but at least it's nothing more serious than that, so he'll be back before too long. Back into the squad. Edge of the box here for Reading. And it's somehow broken to a Reading player. I and mean, Sells made the save. But he made it with his knees. It's a bit lucky there. And Reading have got quite a few men forward here. And Clark doesn't stop his man. Who keeps going. And turns inside and there's a man free. And Sells makes another top save. He's made a lot of those this season for us. And that's a pretty impressive one because he hit that really hard. Oh, well done Sigurdsson. And now Dwight Gale should be in. His first touch wasn't great. But Gale's second draws a good save out of the keeper. And Sigurdsson with the snap header couldn't put it away. Gale's got to do better there for me. Gale. Look at Matt Ritchie. Cuts inside brilliantly. Ritchie! Oh! What a curling effort that was. Did really well to make the chance. Oh, it can't have missed by much at all. So close to putting us ahead. Aaron's. Gale. Sigurdsson. Now Richie. We do look dangerous coming forward, I've got to say. Sigurdsson. 
Shelby. Oh, man. I thought I was in the bottom corner. Again, he gets in on this left-hand side. It's a dangerous ball in. A sells with another brilliant save. Here come Redding. Don't want to lose the game, that is for sure. Oh, it's all opened up. And again, and sells again. What a save. Away by Mbemba. There's a tangle of players on the floor. I just deflected in. I've paused it. It's so annoying. I cannot believe that that has gone in. After all the saves that Matt Sells has made today. And that was going to be another one, by the way. It's gone in off of Yedlin's face. Or his arm or something. And Sells, to his credit, almost saved it. But we don't deserve that. That's cruel. I mean, Redding probably do deserve a goal. But not in those circumstances. And poor Matt Sells, who deserves a clean sheet today, isn't going to get it. Perez. Mitro. Armstrong. Who I'm thinking of actually bringing in to replace Gale. Because Gale's been shocking. And Armstrong! Oh, what a save. What a save. Yeah, Gale just hasn't been up to it recently. Armstrong looking for Mitro. Well read. It's a defeat for the first time in quite a long time in the league. We've been playing well recently, but... I mean, we could have scored a couple of goals ourselves. We didn't deserve to concede the way that we did. Sells was outstanding. And that was pretty much the only way he was going to get beaten. That or an absolute worldie. And it's an un unusual loss for us, actually. Okay, then let's take a look at the championship table at the end of this episode. We are top of the league by four points. We do, of course, still have that game in hand. So that'll work for us. We'll probably get three points from that. So it'll take us up to seven points. Still at the top, which is the main thing. Aston Villa is still second. The playoffs relatively close, I suppose. I mean, well, the last position in the playoffs is... Um, Bristol City right up there in 7th for you believe and the bottom 3 is Blackburn, Rotherham and Burton those guys have been down there for most of the season Burton are right off the bottom on 19 points they're really struggling and of course we've got a massively superior goal difference to Aston Villa which pretty much gives us another point um, yeah disappointed to lose that last game though I'll be honest so that is going to do it for this episode guys as always, thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed the uh, video, click on that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you get all the new videos when they come out. And I'll see you all in the next one.